Hi everybody, it's Lisa with Junk Journal Gems. Long time no see. I am gonna get back in the swing of things here. Not that I have stopped um, crafting altogether. That's not the case at all. Today, I want to work on some playing cards. I have been hoarding play playing cards, evidently, because I have you know, these sitting out here, but this is not the extent of what I have whatsoever. So we're going to play around today. Um, I've been playing around already. This is a journal that I've been working on. See, I haven't stopped altogether. Um, but where did I put that? In here I had fiddled around with playing cards and I just I adore this Kathy Holden fabric and I framed it out using a playing card and actually two of them so it's this is cut out the image of the queen I'll show you what I mean rather than babbling about it so I cut out the image of the the queen in the middle and then the other playing card I just left as is, and I sandwiched the Kathy Holden fabric in between those two. So that is one thing that I did, and I thought, you know what? Let's check in with my friends and turn the camera on and see what we can do together. So this just is another card that I have cut out the image in the middle, but these are cards that come vintage looking already. It's the bicycle brand of playing cards and it will say vintage on it. I think you can, I probably pick these up at like Walgreens or something and they look like this. So they're kind of fun already. Um, but they certainly are slick. I mean, they're playing cards made like that for a purpose so you can shuffle and do all that fun business. But these, I cut the center out and used one as a template to cut the other one out. And what I thought I would do with this one is I've got my package of acetate here. There, I'll just use that one. But yeah, if you ever have acetate, these um, packets, I, I've gotten them all at um, Dollar Tree when they have back to school. So this can go in there, that can go on top. And if I cut this double thickness, I can put my item in between. And I thought what I would use, these are some dried flowers I got a long time ago off of um, Amazon. And I will try my best to remember to link it below. If I don't, please remind me in the comments. I will take no offense to that. Golly, I haven't even opened up this one. Well, you know what that means. I think I will use some of these, but look, they're all beautiful. You can't go wrong with any of them. These are pretty cool too. And there's one of greenery. I've used quite a bit of those. But first things first, let's cut out the acetate. So I'm gonna leave these two edges intact just to make life as easy as possible. So I hope everybody else has been doing well and you've had good things going on with your life. Our son's wedding was fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. Just love those kids. Their wedding was totally them. Maybe I'll use this one because it is already open. 
Now, one thing that might be helpful to you in handling these, because they are delicate, is, um, now, where did I put them? I have a set of tweezers here somewhere. I just have them. Here they are. Okay. So, where is this? Oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, that'll be pretty. Let's do that. If you hear noise in the background, we, we live at a lake and of course the lake is frozen over right now because we're in Wisconsin and they have been, or the snow is melted here, but they have been running snowmobiles on the lake because they can't, they can't really go anywhere else right now. So it's been a little noisy out there today, but everybody's safe, everybody's having fun, so. Oh, just broke off a leaf. I think what will be probably easiest is, um, let's get out the art glitter glue. I've been fighting with this art glitter glue. It keeps clogging up. And this time of year, I am not going to be able to get art glitter glue shipped to me. Now I'm going to just put a dab of glue in the acetate first. Art glitter glue is great, it dries clear, but I want to hold that in place. So this is going to take some finagling. This may not go as I had envisioned. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy. Ooh, ooh. Oh, let's stick this guy in first, and then we'll stick the other guy in. Come on. I hope you can see I keep pulling this up to me. little dab of glue on the back of it may work better. There. Okay. So then we will glue around this. And I'm just going to do a little bit because I don't want it to squish everywhere. That might have been kind of a lot of it. And again, that will dry clear. Have no fear, will dry clear. <laughs> uh. Okay. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now I'm I'm putting the back side of the card to the front side of this card because on this particular one, it's just how I happen to want to do it this time around. I want the card showing on one side and the back of the playing card on the other. We are having some beautiful sunshine, which is such a welcome thing right now because we had, oh my goodness, just the longest string of days 
with no sun for a while there and oh, everybody was getting a little grumpy. Look at how that's gonna look at the back with that color. Again, the glue will dry. Looks a little punky right now because you can see the glue. And then, I'm gonna run a bead of glue. Come on, see what I mean? Might have to do glue bottle surgery. Now, I don't have those little craft clampy things, and right now, they would come in very, very handy. So if you have them, I'm telling you, you you're gonna want them right now. So I'm just gonna have to hold it, so I might this doesn't take here. I might have to stop the camera and come back. Okay, here we're back and this is what it looks like. So that's item number one or item two after the one that I had already done. But so you can do a little window in them. That is super cute. Let's, I'm gonna put these dried flowers away for a bit and try something else I've been wanting to try. Um, the other thing that I wanted to try with this is, let's take this plank card, and I think, which side do I wanna do? I think on this side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some collaging. This is just some sandpaper I found in our painting bin. And it doesn't tell me what the grid is. If I had to guess, it is 220 or higher. And I just want to get some grip to the playing card. that what I work with will stick to it now. I'm going to take a paper toweling and just pick up the dust from that so it's not getting in my glue. Okay, now <laughs> that that's all over my fingers. Um, I'm going to take some clear gesso. I just got this gesso. I went to use my other gesso about a week or so ago and it was dried up hard as a rock, so I had to get a new one. And this particular brand of gesso, I actually got this brand for my Bible journaling because it was highly recommended in that community. This is the Art Basics, the um, Finnebar Studios Art Basics brand. And the review from others is that it's pretty smooth and came rated pretty highly. All right, now it's all over my fingers and everything else. Now, I want, oh, I think this is a little, <laughs> this would be a little big. I'm gonna get a different paintbrush. I'm just going to do some collaging here, and I'm going to take my bag of scraps, and I also have a old um, page from a hymnal that I thought would come in handy, but let's just sift through the scraps and see what I find. So this is some paper from a um, 
digi kit right off the top of my head. I don't remember what the name of the kit is or who it's from. It's been a while, so I don't have everybody right at the tip of my tongue. Just have an old paintbrush, nothing special about it. I'm gonna make sure it's coated pretty good because we want it stuck down well. stuff in here. I don't know that I want that on this one, but that'd be cool for another time. Here's some book page. And don't be afraid to run your papers every which way. I just, I think, you know, you... You do what makes you happy. It's your art. You make it you, but I think it just adds more interest to it. Um, what's this? Ooh, this is some coffee dyed book page. This will give a nice contrast. This is from a gardening book. And that's the fun about doing things like this is there's no rules to it. You can just get in there and have at it. No one can tell you you're not doing it right. I don't know that you could really do anything egregiously wrong. What's this one? Ooh, that'd be fun up in that corner, wouldn't it? Super fun, but I don't want the whole kit and caboodle. Maybe I'll put that little guy there. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Why does it seem like that's popping up? Because it is. You want to kind of make sure you're squishing it all down good. So you've got good contact. Okay, we can let that dry. Okay, now I'm having too much fun and I want to do this with everything. This time, let's do this side of the card so you can see. But I don't want to do it with an ace. Now I'm getting picky. Let's do it with this one. I'm only doing it with this because purple is not my favorite color. I don't know why. And it's funny because um, the high school or the school system my kids went to, their school color was purple. And now the college, or actually, now that I think about it, the college for both boys, the school color was purple, or is purple. So, I don't know. <laughs> so, I end up wearing a lot of purple because of that. And it's actually a good, you know how some colors look better on you than others? It's actually a good color for me, but I just, just not a fan. Which 
but it's not a fan. I don't know why. I love it in nature. I'll use this again. Actually, this time I'll use the music paper. Don't be afraid to rip and tear. Can you hear my dog snoring? <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> She's getting older and I'm finding when she is sleeping, she sleeps so hard that I really have to be careful how I wake her up because I, more on more than one occasion, have startled her so bad. Poor thing. But she just doesn't hear me anymore and she sleeps so soundly she doesn't hear me leave a room and she'll wake up and start crying because she doesn't know where I am and so it's not only an awkward thing when we get older, it's awkward for dogs too. Okay, we can let that one dry. I feel like I'm on a roll here. Let's take this one. She's a crabby queen anyway. I feel like I keep veering off camera here. I'm hoping you guys can see okay. All right, let's find a different kind of piece of paper. Let's go with this one. This is some origami paper. Don't wanna go like that. That just seems really upside down, doesn't it? covering it down here. Well, heavens to Betsy, no, I did it. I didn't like that at all. Maybe this origami paper won't work. I'd be surprised, though. No, it was just... When I pulled it up, it didn't like that. Whoop. Okay. What else are we gonna use? Goodness knows I have enough scraps. Mm. Trick is finding a good color combo here. Ooh, this might be good. Or is that too thick? That's kind of thick. This here, uh, I don't like it. Let's go with this, I like that. This is a page off of, I don't know, some kind of mathematical book I have. I like that a lot. I'm liking this gesso. It is nice and smooth. Um, I will say, though, 
not badly, but it does have a bit of an odor, just slightly. And it just hit me a little bit ago here. Is it? Yep, that's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna put something else. I feel like it needs a third piece. Hmm. Oh, maybe this will be fun. There's some tissue paper. Let's just try it. sewing tissue paper for crafting so much fun now I have a little bubble here and if you get little bubbles in there it may mean that you don't have enough gesso under here now another thing I should point out is that you don't have to use gesso you can use glue you can use um, matte medium you can use Mod Podge. A lot of people favor Mod Podge. So there's, you got options. All right, let's see, is this guy getting drier? I'm gonna dry this fella. And let's go to the next step then. Okay, we are dry enough for our next steps here. It's still a little wet, but I think we'll be okay. So the next step I was thinking about doing it on this one is maybe doing some, um, some stenciling. So I'm gonna grab my stencils here. All right, so here's my bag of stencils. Let's see what we find. Need some with a smaller pattern. This would work. That's a contender. Ugh, what a mess, Lisa. These are some little Heidi Swap stencils, but yeah, these are pretty geometric, geometrical. For this not quite what I was looking for I mean they're fun for other things but not what I was going for here do that there's another one I could do but wait there's more Those are my best bets for today. So, goodness, I've got scraps everywhere. So we could use this one or this one would be fun. There's some little flowers that would be fun or this. So let's just try this one first. And I think Instead, I don't do well using gesso um, for stenciling. I don't know. I think it's a me, me thing. Other people do just fine. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to do my texture paste. Now, what I have actually is um, the Crafters Workshop modeling paste. It's nice and thick. Ugh. <laughs> a little hard to open. Um, but yeah, it's nice and thick. So I tend not to go underneath the design of the stencil then. I just, I struggle with that with gesso. 
Maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. So what portion of this? Do I want to do just a portion of it? Or let's do this quick so I can see what I'm working with. I'm just cutting off the excess here. out of the way. My schnibbles. Okay. Ooh. Need a little mix up in here. See, that's how thick it is. Can you see that? It's thicker than pancake batter. And I think I want like these roses going through the middle of it. So I'm gonna kinda plop it right on down in the middle here. And maybe I only wanna do this top part. Now don't get too carried away having too big of a blob. You can always go back and get more. that dry. Let's try something else. I'm going to get a baby wipe here. I forgot to check the time on when I started. I'm just playing away here. Playing away. Maybe the next one here I will try some white gesso. See how we do with that. What do you think? Now I'm feeling all brave. I'm gonna see if I can get that off. Otherwise, I'm gonna have texture paste everywhere. Let's just put this away for now. Can always come back. No sense letting it all dry out. Let's do, um, let's try this off good here first though. Okay. Um, let's see how dry this is. That's pretty good. Same thing, we're gonna cut around. Cute. Okay, let's try the white gesso. This is just white gesso. It's just the Artist Law brand. And maybe that's part of my problem. I just don't have the best brand in the world. But I will venture to show you here. I'm going to do the same thing I did before, and I'll show you what happens. See, is everybody's that runny? Maybe that's it. Maybe mine is just too runny. Well, no 
comments if you have enough on there, Lisa. But see, and now I'm afraid. And I just want to kind of spot do it. Oh, that actually turned out super good. Ha <laughs> ha. this. I hope you can still see. Ooh, pretty. You guys, I'm having so much fun. This is crazy. Let that dry. Let's get oh, another baby wipe. Clean this one up. Let's try a different stencil. And the next one. I got baby wipes everywhere here. But you get the gist of it. And then when you're when it's dry, you can embellish them however you want. Sometimes these fine stencils, it's hard to make sure you've got everything off. Okay. Let's try this bad boy. This one's still a little wet. That's pretty good. Cut down the excess. This one <clears throat> might be fun to do the circles on. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Why am I having such a time? There we go. This is just one of those tacky stencils. These I like because it's they're tacky. It sticks more to what you're doing, so you have an easier time of it. And I'm going to go ahead and try the gesso again. Now I'm feeling braver with it. carried away there around the edges that's good I mushed it a little bit there but that is okay now where did I put my wipe Whoop. up a little bit. 
Set this one aside. Clean this up. I've learned the hard way to make sure you clean this up. One time I forgot and left something and I have a stencil that I love that I'm still struggling with the little pieces and the little grooves. My bad. There. Okay. Whew. This is wet enough now. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, my friends, let's get back to embellishing. I've dried these and I will say, eat my words. I don't know what I did so differently this time, but um, I'm just scraping off the excess off the edges here. But I will say that um, this, for this particular project, or maybe it's that stencil or what have you, and this one, the gesso worked better than the texture paste. I don't know. So, yeah. I had a couple little smudges there, but actually for this, with that design, I think it's going to look cool. So, let's decorate a little bit here. I'm just going to, I like to just rub the edges off a little bit so you don't have lumpy bumpies right on the edge. The rest of it's okay. But I'm going to distress the edges. Just kind of makes your piece pop a little bit more. And then, now before we decorate, what we could do, and I might just, Go ahead and do that. Is to this is just some scrap coffee dye paper. We can go ahead and glue this to the back of that so that you can journal on the back. Where's my here it is? Where's my art glitter glue? I'm just gonna glue around the edges of this really good. You can also use glue stick, but sometimes on these slicker things, glue stick might not stick all that great. So you can just go and lay it on here and then always come back and trim the edges. What I like to do for something like this is come back with my bone folder and really make sure it's stuck on there good. And you can come around to the edges of this too if you want. Especially the corners, make sure you got your corners good. Now, on some like these where I um, did the other side, I had the other side, the decorative side. If you think that side is pretty and want to leave it, that's totally fine. As I said earlier, I'm not a fan of purple. So, I am covering up that purple. I know. So many people love the color purple. And... Those of you who love it are now looking at me like, crazy lady, why are you covering that beautiful image up? And I'm not saying it isn't attractive, I just can't do it. folder out. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay, 
right, she's all good and stuck. to be touched up a little bit and if I don't do it now it's gonna bug me come on Bessie better makes me feel better perfect okay let's get to decorating all right so each of these I designed to go like that. Now I have my folder with all of my embellishments. So let's see what I can find. There's so many things in here. What do I want today? There are these. I don't want pink. These. This particular one is a stamp on, um, um, you know those books, U.S. postage stamp books? That's what that is. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a possibility. The other thing that we can do is let's get out some lace. And I was kind of thinking about this one, maybe, do I have this one here or this one, I think I like that one. Oh, there's also this one. I really struggle so with this one. struggling. <laughs> this wasn't supposed to be that hard. I could do two little strips of that or two and a half. Kind of like this one. So I think I'll do that. Now for fabric, I like to use my glue tack, or fabric tack, glue tack. <laughs> there. Okay. Let's first run a bead. Oh, heavens to Betsy, what have I got going on here? Let's first run a bead along here just to tack it down. Make sure I have the front versus the back. This is such pretty lace. Love that. Okay, next. Let me think here. Think next. I want like a little stamp or something. Where are my stamps? This whole thing of stamps. So these are this is my box of foreign stamps. Ooh. I like that. Just like that, and I think that and one other idea I have is all of this is going to need. Oh, heavenly days. Be 
beautiful 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 okay, cut these edges off and then I had one other thought and I think Hold on, I'm gonna go get some little pearly gems. Okay, I couldn't decide which ones I wanted. That is too big. This would be the right size. That's too blingy. Hmm. I think I like the pearls. So, what I will do is I'm going to cut off three of these. cluster them. Kind of quiet there for a second, wasn't I? That doesn't happen with me much. Hold it for a second. Let the art glitter glue do its thing. And can you see that? Right around that corner, just to give it enough of a, oh, what's that? I think that's enough on there. Cute, cute. There we have a adorable little journaling card. Now with this one, I was thinking of using that. And what else? What else I got in here? I got all kinds of things in here. Maybe we'll use a little yellow or green butterfly. The green one. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I like it like that. What do you think? Now, I like one with some green in it. What else we got in here? That might be cool. This one's too pale. Too washed out. And I think this one's I don't know. Wah, wah. I like this one, but I don't like the white with his antenna. So his antenna is getting whacked off. Now you can sew around these if you want. I'm not going to do that today. Just not feeling it today. Definitely could do that. The thing I like about using these um, U.S. stamp books for stamping labels on and is um, the paper is so thin that it does not bulk anything up. It just works out so well. Okay, and then this little guy can go like that. And actually, the other thing that we can do, I don't dilly-dally about it. Is to use This is just some leftover wax thread. To 
to use for his antenna. Now all the glue may or may not have come down on my hand. <laughs> there. Oh, cute. Let's cut off the end. Okay, and then we can distress around this one. Oh, I missed a, missed a corner here. to do the back side. So that just gives you an idea. Just get your stuff out. And have a play. Play and it doesn't take much. Just some little fun things and you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed our time together today and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll look forward to seeing you the next time. Take care. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up.